It was a follow-on from the gentleman's question about healthcare. We all know about how to get GPs. What about the hospital? We're talking 20,000 people. Where are they going to go to hospital? Of course, we're talking maybe 20,000 people in 30 years' time. And of course, as you saw from the phasing there, we're talking about hundreds of homes being provided a year, not that Wellborn will suddenly appear overnight. But that said, the health authorities clearly need to be aware of what is happening over that long period and how they cater for the numbers you know, as they are produced. And of course, that has implications for QA, it has implications for bed blocking, which goes on at QA, and moving people on, people that don't need to be in hospital at risk of catching disease, you know, particularly elderly people, who moved on into other care, whether it's care homes or care at home. So there's, there's a lot of issues that need sorting out. And of course, our own community hospital in Ferrum and the services, or some would say lack of services, that that actually provides. So there's a number of issues that need sorting out, and it's not just primary care, as you've identified, it's secondary care, it's tertiary centres like QA as well. So they're all important points, and I think it's right to look at the eventual numbers of 6,000 homes and 18 or 20,000 people, but also bearing in mind <coughs> that what we're duty bound is to prepare <coughs> for that ultimately, but to bear in mind that we're not going to wake up, you know, if this planning application gets a permission, you know, the next day and see 6,000 homes and 20,000 people and 10,000 cars or anything like that. It's going to take a long, long time, but we've got to make sure the provision for what's needed is agreed right at the very beginning. And it's also not just Wellborn, there's the 120 hours in Cranula and Portchester, the 300 hours in Wine Farm in Portchester, and all the other ones that are going to split up over years. None, none of which I have hastened to add have planning permission, and none of which have been granted by the uh, Nor can this, but I think it's all going most of it will be um, And also, it takes a long time to build hospitals, as we seem to have found out. So, is there a yearly update you give to them saying you this anticipation of how much our community is going to grow? Because not, uh, QA is not in, in your in Fairham, it's, it's in Portsmouth. There isn't a well, community hospital, but that's not going to provide all the services. I mean, Portchester, I could get sent to QA to have blood tests. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have provision for the services I need now, mm. and I don't think it's going to get any better. Mm. Yeah, well, we need to make sure that you know, we influence where we can influence and what we can physically insist upon provided on site, we can do it. But it is a really big challenge that we can highlight it.